Hello, beautiful. With so many colors in the rainbow to choose from, how can you decide on one? I'm here today to help you make that decision faster and easier than ever before. You're welcome. Think of me as your fairy hair mother. So first, we're gonna figure out what your skin tone is. Cool, warm, or neutral, with a few easy tests to figure it out. Then I'll be sharing with you which fashion color will suit you best. I'll also share with you a few of my best practices to follow in order to pick the right fashion color for you and your lifestyle. You're welcome. Woo! And if you never had any damn color in the rainbow on your damn head, I'm so excited for you. It's so much fun. We all need a colorful era. We all know I had mine. I definitely had mine. And now it's my grow out era, okay? We're growing this shit out, so we can't be doing all kinds of colors right now. We gotta take good care of it, you know? We gotta just bleach the shit out of it and hope for the best that it also grows. But the rainbow moments are very fun. So first things first, let's figure out if you have warm, neutral, or cool toned skin. This is my favorite practice of all. It's the thing that you must know if you wanna get the most optimal hair color for you. And I know most of you already know that this has a lot to do when you're picking a natural tone, like brown, black, blonde, and what kind of tone you pick. But this also has a lot to do with what fashion color you choose. So I already told you the three categories are warm, neutral, and cool. So let me explain what warm, neutral, and cool is first, and then we can decide which one you have. Let's start off with cool toned skin. I'm showing this face right now because it reminds me of winter. And I don't like winter. I don't like the cold. I hate it. I literally will do anything to like never be in the cold again and somehow also live in New York City. If anybody has a solution to that, I'm here. Think winter when you think of cool tones. Blues, purples, grays. When you look up at the sky, it's all those gray clouds. When you look down at the snow, it's all gray and nasty uh, and white. And when you just look forward, squing your eyes, you see all kinds of gray and dark tones in the winter. That is cool tone, which honestly, whoever named them cool tones deserves a raise because thank you for making it easy for everybody and not naming it something stupid like you know how people name them like easy things, complicated words, like nonfiction. That's dumb. Cool tones means it's cool. Okay, got that one. And then we'll go to warm. Well, what is cool? Winter. What is warm? Summer. This is so easy for us. Okay, what do we see in the sky? What are we seeing around us? We're seeing oranges, we're seeing yellows, we're seeing reds and sunsets, all kinds of warmness, right? And that is warm tones. The only exception to all this is that in the summer, you see green, but green is a cool tone color. Everything's normal besides green. Green, you know what? You really screwed me on this one. But sometimes you see green in the winter, I guess. Now neutral, guys, we all know neutral because we already know warm and cool and all neutral is is a mix of both. So that's pretty easy. Think of fall weather. What's sort of in the middle of summer and winter? Not exactly in the middle, but what is in the middle? Fall. It's sort of warm. It's got the greens. It's got the yellows, nice sunsets sometimes, but you also got that cold days. You got the clouds, you got those dark dreary days, you know, something kind of in the middle and that is neutral. Now that we have that figured out, we're one step closer to figuring out which fashion color would look best on you. Next, we have to figure out what your skin tone is. Is it cool, neutral, or warm? If you already know, you're 10 steps ahead of everybody else watching this video. There are some simple, simple ways of figuring this out. If you can't just look in the mirror and figure it out yourself, sometimes it can get hard. A lot of people are like a neutral warm or neutral cool, so it can get a little complicated. But just focusing on what is the most prominent in your skin will help you the most. First, we're gonna look at our veins over here, okay? Study them up close. I can definitely see minor blue, which means I am cool toned. So if you're seeing blue or purple, you are cool, most likely, but we're not done yet, so keep following. If you see a green or olive-like color, you're most likely a warm tone person, okay? Green equals warm. That's the one that's the only exception here. And if you're seeing a little combination of a sort of greenish color, sort of bluish color vein, you're most likely more on the neutral side. But the vein thing is best used for people who are very cool or very warm. So if you haven't figured it out quite yet, let's move on to the next one. 
guys, jewelry. Are you wearing a lot of silver? Or are you wearing a lot of gold? I know I love silver jewelry. I think I look so much better in it, but I know a lot of people love gold jewelry. What typically happens is people gravitate to the jewelry that looks best on their skin tone. So if you wear a lot of gold, you're most likely a warm toned person. If you wear a lot of silver, you're most likely cool toned. And if you can wear both and you wear both all the time, you're probably neutral. The sun test. We all know this one. All right, if you tan really, really easily, if you get that dark, beautiful golden tan that we all love, you are probably warm toned. And the opposite, if you get a lot of freckles, if you get really burnt easily, you're probably cool toned. And if you're somewhere in the middle, maybe you're neutral. Now let's think about eye color. I have blue eyes. Cool toned. Are we getting it here? Are we getting the picture? If your eyes are blue or sort of grayish or green or deep brown, you are most likely cool toned. If you have brown, hazel, or honey, you are probably warm. And lastly, we're gonna look in the mirror. You can pause the video if you need to, but please come back. Grab a piece of paper, any kind of piece of paper that's white, that'd be great. Place it next to your face, look in the mirror. Do you see more yellowy tones in your skin or do you see more blues and sort of grays and not as much yellow in the skin? What do you think? Do you see it? Do you not see it? What are you seeing? If you're seeing the yellows, you're most likely warm. If you're seeing less yellow and more of that blue undertone, you're most likely cool. And if you're seeing a mixture of both, you're most likely neutral. Now that is the last test. So hopefully that helped you figure out if you're warm, cool, or neutral. And I know neutral can be confusing, but if you're in between a lot of those things, you're most likely neutral. You can also be neutral, warm, or neutral, cool. So you can be kind of neutral, but also a little bit more on the warmer side. So really study your face, look at it closely, and try and figure out the best you can. So now that you have all of that beautiful knowledge. Let's play a game. You know I love a good game. I'm gonna show you two pictures of one celebrity with two different fashion colors, and you're gonna decide which one is the most optimal color based on their skin tone for them. No pressure. You win a huge prize at the end of this if you get them all right. I'll tell you what the prize is later. Here we have Miss Kylie Jenner, who served us a lot of looks in her life in a lot of different colors. We have her in pink, this really neon pink, and then we have her in this kind of neon green yellow situation. Which do we think is most optimal for Kylie Jenner and her skin tone? Ooh. If you picked pink, you'd be correct. Now, you can definitely see which one she looks kind of healthier in. To me, Kylie Jenner is neutral, leaning on cool, and that makes a lot of sense because the cool toned hair looks poppin'. Like, that is her dominant color in her skin. That's that cool tone coming out that looks amazing. Up next on Brad Mondo's game show of This or That, we have the queen, the one and only Doja Cat. Come on in, girl. We have Doja Cat in pink hair, this beautiful moment right here. And then we have Doja Cat in fiery red. I know which one she looks better in to me. What do you think, though? If you picked the red one, you would be correct. I think her skin is definitely warm. I I mean, you look at this red and she looks healthy, glowing, beautiful, and she still looks amazing in the other pink color, but it looks like her skin and the hair are going against each other a little bit, but she still looks great. Now we have Billie Eilish. This is her with the lime green roots, and this is her with the blue hair. Which do you think looks better on her? Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you picked the blue hair, I would have to agree with you. I think the blue was great because she is very cool toned. Up next, we have one of my favorite people ever, Megan Thee Stallion. We have Megan in purple, this violet moment, gorgeous. And then we have her in this deep red. Which do you think looks better on Megan? I would have to say the red. I think Megan is neutral, so she does look great in both, I must say. But she's leaning a little bit on the warm side. Next, we have La La Lisa from Blackpink. We have Lisa in this peachy pink, and then we also have Lisa in a red. A lot of red today. Which do you think looks better on Lisa? Five, four, three, two, one. If you pick this peachy pink, I would have to agree. I think she is cool toned, and the pink looks fabulous. 
And lastly, we have Kim K. Which color does Kim K look best in? This sort of gray blue color or this fiery red? I just realized everybody has a, a red option here. Which one is better? I would definitely say the red. I think she is much more warm toned. I think the blue looks amazing. Like she looks great in everything. Let's not say it doesn't look good. And I love a hair color moment from Kim. But to me, the red just makes her look healthier. And that's that. Now, if you won the majority of those rounds, I do have a gift for you. And that is a kiss. Great job. Great job. So proud of you. <laughs> now you're like, Brad, what the fuck? I came here to learn about what's best for me. Okay, I don't care about some damn celebrities. Hold on. This should have all helped you, okay? Discover what is best for you. But if it didn't already, we'll sum it up right now. If you are cool toned, you've probably noticed by now that blues, violets, greens, and anything in between those colors, blue violets, green violet, turquoise, pastel pinks, lime green, anything like that is going to look amazing on you. Uh, 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 amazing. Also, you can probably get away with things like berry, like a raspberry or a blueberry color. And then if you are warm tone, stick in that red, that orange, that yellow, and everything in between. You can do like a red orange, you can do like a neon yellow, you can even do like a neon green because it has a lot of yellow in it. Stuff like that is going to look incredible on you. And my neutral fam, you can wear anything. However, I will say that a lot of the times, even people with neutral skin tones look best with warmer colors because everybody has a little bit of warmth in their skin overall. If you're like really don't know where to even start, start with a warm color. They're probably gonna look great on you or stick with something that is more in that like in between warm and cool, like our greens, our reds, our violets, things like that. And lastly, if you're gonna do your first fashion color or maybe you're a vet in fashion colors, I have a few great tips. So just listen for a second. If you don't want want to commit. If you're really not sure still and you just want to try some colors out, try a pastel first. They come out of the hair really easily. It's just the safest bet. Other than that, use a semi-permanent color. Now, most fashion colors are always semi-permanent, but things like red can be permanent or demi-permanent depending on what color line you use or depending on what level of permanence you want. But for this case, if you want something to fade out fast, semi-permanent is the way to go. You can use my color line. We have 12 different colors, everything in between cool, warm, and neutral. And we also have Bond Builder built into every color so that you get healthier hair post coloring. And my entire line of color is semi-permanent. You know, I had to throw it in there. Um, you can shop everything linked below. Another thing to consider is that red is the hardest color to remove from your hair. So be careful with the reds. You know, just make sure you wanna do it before you do it. It is very difficult to remove because it is the largest color molecule. Red tends to bleed a lot and it tends to not come out of the hair easily. Make it make sense. Blue is also really hard to remove from the hair because it is the the darkest fashion color you can do. You find a lot of blue undertones in black color. So think of that. Blue and black are sort of on the same scale and it's very hard to remove. A lot of the darker colors like purple, blue, and red can be used on top of non pre lightened hair. So you're not inflicting any damage on your hair. You're actually making it healthier if you use my color. And it's easy to transition out to different colors in the future if you want to. And lastly, consider changing your makeup if you really want to wear a warm color and you're really cool toned. Makeup's great. You can change your foundation color to a warmer color. You can change it to a cooler color. Things like that. Wear cool toned eyeshadow or lipstick and it can look a lot better. I guess there's one more thing. Okay, fine. There's one single more thing and that is my best advice for today and it's do whatever makes you feel good about yourself. These are just fun, easy rules to follow if you want the most optimal color for yourself. But who the fuck? Hairs. It's hair color. You're meant to have fun. Just live life, you know? If you don't want to follow these rules, then don't. I totally get it. Well, I hope that helped you and I cannot wait to see what you do next with your hair. Please tag me if you end up changing your hair. I love to see what you guys try after watching my videos. You can shop any of the Xmondo colors or Xmondo hair products with the link below or go to xmondohair.com. You can also get some amazing hair inspiration from any of these Instagrams. This is Xmondo hair, Xmondo color, and mine. Click the like button if I helped you figure out anything with your own hair today and the subscribe if you want to see more of me and that's all guys if you want to see more videos you can click here and click here boom 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 hopefully these are good for you this is like suggested videos so i hope they're good <laughs> i hope you like them and uh that's all for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to live for extra life and i'll see you next time bye